Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to Let's Play Jurassic World Evolution. We're going to continue off and before we go back over to Islam Muertes, we're back on Islam Matanceras. We're just waiting for this to incubate, which we're almost finished. So let's release that one. Whilst that's released and we've also got the dig team coming back and we need to send them out, back out for another expedition. And journey is really just a series of small sometimes random chaotic if you will steps and you've just taken one step okay where have we taken a step to aha isla nabla the sandbox island that island was a land of wonder and life impossible Primal, instinctual, predatory, prehistoric life and death. This would be Isla Nublar's legacy. Not Hammond's dream of a Jurassic Park, but something altogether more fitting. Okay, so Isla Nublar. Was he saying Nublar? Nublar. Nublar. Isla Nublar is a sandbox island, so you've got completely no budget. You can build whatever you like, but your only restraint is... If you haven't unlocked it, you cannot build it. So we're going to continue on. Stay on Isla Matanceras. Um, we're going to finish off what we were doing. Which one did we just complete? It was this one here, wasn't it? So we're going to continue off going to here. Let's just quickly find out what fossils we've just dug up. So we've got these that we're going to do on Isla Muertes. We've got our Triceratops and we've got an Anchiosaurus. So... Is everything fine over here at the moment? Yep, the raptors are doing fine. This island seems to be running efficiently well. Just under 300,000 profit per minute. I still need to do these. As you can see, ooh, what's that new one? Cenoceratops. We will be coming back here. We will be jumping between the islands because I want the security center needs one. Obviously, we've got a lot to do on the entertainment. Entertainment is huge. And we've got the science center and the incubation speed 1.0. So we are going to have to continue off this. But for now, we're going to quickly jump over back onto Isla Murta. Murta's. Isla Murta. I'm going to go here just for now. So we're going to see what we need to do. We've got some, uh, just over 400,000 available cash. <coughs> I do want to kind of build a new paddock, I think. Maybe we might have a new paddock. Don't know what for yet. But we're definitely going to have a new paddock. Should be quite fun. Bring some new dinos. Bring some new life. Maybe an Ankyosaurus. So let's skip this. First thing I kind of want to do is quickly have a look at our overview, overview management. So total power output is 120, we've used 70, so we've still got quite a bit available. Storm warnings, well, only those buildings will be safe. So we kind of need to build a storm center around here. Shelters, it's only going to show these guys in this sort of area. Dinosaur availability is 100%, which is good. Finances, profit, not bad. We haven't unlocked monorails. Food, very low demand food. So we need some food bars up and running, some drink bars, some shopping, some fun. They've got no fun. What's... How have they got no fun? They've got dinosaurs. They've got two Sauratosauruses. Look at those. That is, like, I'd be scared, to be fair. I, it wouldn't be fun, I'd be, I'd be scared. Have we got a, uh, what have we got over here? So we can sell, 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 sell. Okay, so maybe we can start the can we? Oh yeah, we can. Oh, because we have the fossil center. So we're gonna get all those underway. What have we got over here? That's our expedition team number two. Send these guys back out, go and get some more stuff for us. 
So we've actually got just over half a mil, a uh, mil and a half, sorry. So it's time that... An opportunity has presented itself. Use the ranger team's camera to take a photo of a dinosaur eating a carcass. Okay. Have we got any live feeders? We have got a live bait feeder. We've got a Ceratosaurus down here. Is he hungry? No, he's not. Does this need refilling? Yes, it does. Have we got a ranger team? Yes, we do. Let's drive this vehicle. Let's go and do that contract really quickly. That'll give us a bit more science. Beep, beep. Excuse me. I probably did just kill that woman. I do apologise. We'll send a letter. Maybe. So let's restock. Whoa, there he is. Meter supplies back to normal. No, no, no. Eat the goat. Whoa, whoa. I want you. Where's the other one? <laughs> How would you feel if you literally just drove that vehicle? Oh. A goat. And I swear to swear. I like that. Anyway. Not me. Eating live food. Okay, I'm sorry. It's going to have to be another one, isn't it? Neither of those worked. Um, if it kills an Entomontosaurus, is it... Because that's quite a big dinosaur, isn't it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ed. I'm sorry, Ed. But it's for the greater good. Alright, so... Paddock. Paddock. Where do we want a paddock? Where can we place a paddock? What's our reach? So we could place a path going along here to a viewing centre down here with a paddock just on the side of here. How's that sound? I think that sounds pretty good. What I do want to do is kind of extend the fence area of this one. So enclosures, fences. What sort of fence do we want? We want an electric fence. Nope. Where's that going? So if I literally do one, two, three, four, and bring that, no, why is it curving? I don't want you to curve. Toggle curve, straight. And let's have it a, just to here. That kind of looks wonky. That does look wonky. It's because that's curved down there. Uh, demolish. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And they get rid of that one. Why can't you just be straight? Just straight lines. That's all we want. Let's go back. It's not letting me do it, is it? It does not want to play ball. How did that get that so straight like that? Oh, I hate this game. When games don't let you do what you know what you want to do, it it's annoying. Basically, I don't want the other paddock being too close to this one because I don't want the dinosaurs breaking through and killing each other. It's not good. Let's try. Is that still curving? No, it's not. It's being straight. That's fine. What I can do is I can put another edge onto here, can't I, somewhere? That seems fine to me. Because that then at least blocks them off and they can't get down to each other then. 
I'm just worried about how far or where the viewing platforms might be. If I place one along here, yeah, one there, one there, and one there. Why would you do an angle snap? You know what, best thing is, let's remove the bloody trees, so I can't see anything from what I'm doing at the moment. Move trees will replace you. It's not a big loss. Yeah, because we can place, and these ones. We're going to do a bit of landscaping. Sorry guys. Sorry, I thought I had it all planned out. We're going to do a bit of landscaping. Only a little bit, just to try and get you know a nice area so we can see what we're doing. We're gonna have a path leading around here, so we're gonna want this gone. We might actually have a restaurant, possibly even a hotel around the back of here. You know, there's plenty of room for it. So let's do a little bit of smoothing out. Kind of want that to there. Don't want loads of slopes, do we? Or do we? I don't know how much is it actually going to allow me to do. Oh, so that's going to raise it up a little bit. Hmm. That's what I didn't want. When you're flat and it, and it looks like it's a cake rising in the oven. I don't know how many cakes you see rising like that. Not many, I would say. It's fine, because all of this can be flattened out later. Smoothened out. You know what? We're almost done. Kinda. Maybe. You know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get it all looking nice. And I'm gonna come back. Alright? So we're going to edit this bit, because this bit is a bit long. So we're going to come back to this, alright? So we'll be back soon. And we are back. And so basically what we've done is we've cleared out quite a lot. Well, we cleared out all of the forest area down here. All of the trees and everything. Just so we could see what sort of landscape that we had with our park and how well it was doing. So this is our new paddock that we've just built. So it's got the two viewing areas. It's got the Hammond Creation Lab. It's got power and I've put in a little path around. And I've left a little bit clear, but we have just contracted a disease, a bracken disease, I believe it is. Where's my Struthiomimus just gone? There it is. It has got bracken poisoning. So we need to go ahead. We've got enough money. We need to go ahead and build a research center. Now, because I've obviously cleared out quite a bit of space, I should, hopefully, be able to put the research center just here. And it's nicely with in a power grid um, can I turn it so it's not quite there that looks good there you know it's in a nice little area just for itself no waste of space and that will go just there and we've got all of this room to play with and we've got all of this down here and I haven't even touched up the top there's so much on this island that we can use We've got all of this once I've cleared it all out and nice, made it nice and flat. I haven't flattened any of this other land. This is how all of this is. All I've done is I've smoothed out this surface here. And I've smoothed out the back of here. I need to do a bit more twiddling. Twiddling, fiddling. Fiddling or twiddling. And place a um, hotel, maybe a restaurant, just down the back of here. So this is got some stuff to go on it. But now, with the research being said to be made. <coughs> excuse me. We need to. We need to make some dinos. Should we have a raptor? It's a bit too much then. Uh, let's go for two Edmontosauruses. Or actually, how far are we on? Let's just quickly do the research since it's built. 
So we're going to go ahead, make that bracken cure. There it is. We might just place. We need some small stuff. We need some. We might need to wrap this. It's basically what I want down here is one large paddock for all of the herbivores. That seems like a good idea. One large paddock for all of the herbivores. Maybe another one up here. Just because they're so big and they need so much space. And they don't, they're don't. they not particularly angry with each other. And they can take a lot of population as well. So one large... Yeah, that should be alright. One large open space. So in this one, what do we want? I don't want any more Ceratosauruses. The only other one we've got is a Velociraptor. But it does cost quite a lot. Can I put all their genome back down? Oh, that's at zero genome. It's going to cost all, over half. Of that. That's all my fun's gone. I, I can't afford it. We're going to have to do two triceratopsis. Okay, so the dart's been done. That's ready to go. So let's go ahead. Use our ranger team. No, we don't want to add a task. We want to drive the vehicle because we're going to have to take a photo. That Edmontosaurus is going to die. It is gonna die, unfortunately. But you know, it's for the great and good. Don't. Asset in range. Oh, how was that a miss? What's that PUBG? Right, aim a bit higher. A little bit lower. My, the aim is literally just like PUBG. Don't run off. Nice shot. Asset treatment oh, completed. Needs some help. Come on. No, 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 no. 300 meters. <laughs> it didn't work. Okay. So we've done that one. It's now time to go over to the Carno area. He can already smell it. He can smell like the Montosaurus. Yeah, whatever. Let's get in my vehicle. Drive it. Let's get picture time ready. Oh, no way. I'm, I'm really. Who's gonna go and attack it? Which one? You got one there, and you got one there, and they're both. Where are you going? Ooh. It's bigger! Going for it. It's bigger. Good work. Did it literally just kill it? <gasps> There's my photo. I myself have dabbled in photography. Nothing as good as this, mind you. Oh. It's the grass. I was wondering what was going Those on then. Pictures you took did the job. Well done. That literally went down. Here's a reward for you. In one hit. It's for your exceptional work on Islam Muerta. Oh, what's the reward? Hatchery capacity. Does that mean I can hatch more eggs? No. Oh, is it an upgrade that I can put in? Is it? Aha, uh -huh, I can put in another upgrade to get some more eggs being laid, that's fine. I don't need that. We've got our eggs down here being brewed up. What are they? Two triceratopses and they're both ready to go. Before I place these, I actually do think this paddock is going to be very, very small for them. I'm going to release one. Because I basically need to see how much water. So we're going to have to go back into landscape. I need to know how much water I need to actually add. 
Well, not water, sorry. Grassland and forest. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to welcome a Triceratops to... Only needs a little bit of forest. That's fine. Uh, place a little bit over here. You happy with that? No, a little bit more. You should be happy with that, right? Yeah, okay, now we can place the second one. Place the second one. Now the one thing we do need to add onto this, a very small paddock. I don't know why I built this so small. Should have been a lot bigger, a lot bigger. We can expand as we go through, get more money, we can expand. Uh, enclosures, we want a ground. There we go, we got two. Population, social, forest, grassland, comfort, everything's 100%. They're happy. That should give me a bit more now, right? 92,000 a minute. So, storm defense station coverage. So, I need to build two of these, which is under operations. Yep. So, we're going to turn this one around. That dead dinosaur will eventually go. Let's go a little bit. I wish I had like fine tuning. That'd be nice. So we have one of those just there. And we'll put a second one just around here, I reckon. And that should keep everything. Okay, maybe here then. Or here. We'll put it on the side. It doesn't look so ugly then. Has it got a toggle angle snap? Is that the angle snap, is it? That's not the right angle. Way to go! And it's not inside any sort of power, is it? Because you got a, oh, it's there. It's very hard to see where everything is. That'll have to do. It's as neat as it's gonna get. I'm doing what I can to help you. Do what you can to help the security division. So we need to maintain 900 guests for more than well for four minutes. Consecutive. What's our guests at the moment? 844. So we need to get some more guests in. We've got some research to do first, though. I want to do one of those. And let's do some traits. One on there. Do uh, expedition. Send the team out. Gonna get me some more. Don't like the Draco Rex. They're not as good as the others. Sell that. Now look at that Draco Rex genomes, fossils. I feel like the Struthia Mimus needs a friend. That's a hundred percent. We're gonna free Struthia Mimus. I feel like it needs a friend. The dead die is still there. Why hasn't it been eaten yet? It's just a decaying corpse. So I need to get rid of this. But I can't at the moment because I haven't got an ACU anywhere. So, how much money have we got? We've got enough. Operations. Only one power island, that's fine. Where is my ACU headquarters? There we go. Maybe ACU could be down here instead. Uh, we could put an ACU down here. But I'm not going to. Let's send... Uh, ACU team anywhere that will take it is it going to like it? no it would like it there but it doesn't want to quite put it in there we go ACU by the front I'm kind of regretting that as long as it doesn't build into the path that was a bad placement. That was a very, very bad placement on, on my part. Oops. Okay, so we've still got quite a lot to do. Struthia Mimus, number one, and Struthia Mimus, number two. They are ready to go. They're going to go into our park. That's going to boost our count. What's our count sitting at the moment? 909. So the timer is now ticking down. Get the ACU in the air. Clear out that dead dinosaur. Never mind, they've eaten it. Didn't need to clear it whatsoever. 
The Ceratosaurus must have been very, very hungry. We have new fossils. Triceratops, free star, that should clear it up. There's an Ankyosaurus, and we'll get rid of that. Let's send the expedition team out once more. We're just literally going to keep going until it is done. Feeder needs. Let's add a task. Which one are we going for? Number one and number Unlock two. <coughs> Excuse me. Three minutes and counting. We're getting there. We're going to complete this task. But we will have to fully complete it in the next episode. Because that is all we have time for. So in today's episode, we've built a new paddock. We've released some triceratops. We've done a few bits of modification to our park. And it's coming along nicely. So, whilst we're guest count is above 900, we are going to end this video for today's episode. Hold on a minute there, Mr. Gino. As you saw, we have the Ankyosaurus that can be born. We can now make an Anki. So, if you've liked this video, give it a like. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. But we will be in that back next episode and we will create that Ankyosaurus. And maybe I might build upon a pen to house more dinosaurs, more larger creatures. Until then, guys, I've been Kruger. You take it easy. Bye-bye for now.